looking at the SEC, you you glanced at it, and it's not going to get much attention. We had it on college football final and, and, and a brief highlight of it. But I was very impressed and have been with what Hugh Freeze has done year one at Auburn because it was left in such a nasty spot with the Brian Harson departure. Got them bowl eligible. You're thinking they're going to move to seven and five against New Mexico State, who was a good team last year, has been fighting a little this year. But, Paul, that wasn't a loss to a team that you paid $1.8 million to. That was an absolute drubbing at home from New Mexico State with Auburn. Final score in this one was 31 to 10. And all of the goodwill that Hugh had <laughs> built up in year one seemed to vanish in the span of four quarters. It did. Uh, and I think what was surprising was uh, <laughs> Auburn got beaten on, the, on both lines of scrimmage. Uh, I mean, it looked like Auburn was the team uh, playing the cupcake role for New Mexico State. Uh, having said all that, and, and I, I, I'll never forget 2007, Matt, uh, I didn't go to the game because why, why would I, uh, but, you know, but getting a halftime score and then getting a, somebody calling and say, you better start paying attention when L La Monroe beat Nick Saban in the exact same spot. Yeah. And I'm not trying to suggest Hugh Freeze is going to go on and, and win six national champions, but I am suggesting that the program I think is in pretty good shape that they, they, you know, New Mexico state and Jerry kill. I mean, they're, they beat Hugh Freeze last year I don't think we paid much attention to it as a 24 point favorite because freeze was going to Auburn. His team had checked out. Uh, I just think you got, yeah, this sounds like an excuse. It's not, you got young guys who just simply don't care. They're not listening to the coach when he says, this is a good team. Uh, they're thinking about, you know, getting their friends tickets for the iron ball. Uh, yeah. And the fact that they're bowl eligible, it's just the way we are. I am not going to uh, melt down on this. Because I I I, it, I think I think the unhappiest person in the country because of that was Nick Saban. He probably walked in his house and kicked the door, going, "Okay, two years ago we were in the same spot. Why do I always have to go to Auburn when none of my when nobody cares about the game?" Yeah, and that's a great point, and that's a great uh, and now not analogy Sunday stupid, but that's a great comparison point with what happened to Nick Saban in year one at Alabama when he had that loss. Look. By the way, the, line, love, the line's already moved from 10 to 14 and a half. See? And that's what happens. And and Hugh Freeze, we believe – we both like him. We both know he's a really good coach. There is going to be growing pains in a rebuild. And I get it. The Auburn fans are beside themselves this morning. Look. Calm it, down. Just, just give it time. Like, you can't, you can't get so irrational over everything so quickly. Hugh Freeze is going to get that thing going. You and I both know it, but you're yeah. right. Now – you think he's got this team's attention now? Going into Iron Bowl week? No, I, I mean they're 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 not a. They're, I would say this Auburn team is better than the one two years ago uh, that led Alabama ten nothing. And by the way, that was a good Alabama team. Uh, you know, yeah. Bryce Young was on his way to a Heisman Trophy. Uh, they beat Georgia in the SEC championship game, so that wasn't like you know one of Nick Saban's worst teams like we thought this team was. Uh, so. I, I also don't want to tell you, Matt, having covered that game for 40 years, that anything can happen. But Auburn's nowhere near Alabama right now. But it's it, it, I don't like for Alabama that everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. They won big. They had a banner day. Uh, their their fans are already looking ahead to Georgia. They, you know, they, they'll hear the throw out the record books and the, you know the all the great Iron Bowls. But Nick Saban. Uh, Jordan Hare Stadium has been his Waterloo. Yeah, and uh, rivalry weekend, anything can happen, and and I don't know that it'll happen this next weekend, but we we've seen crazier things. And Paul, you certainly know that rivalry better than anyone. Give me something. I can